Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my channel. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Carol, and I'm so glad that you stopped by. I hope you'll consider subscribing, like and share my videos, and follow me on social media. I will leave all the links in the description box below. So it is the beginning of February. We have Valentine's Day coming up. Um, so I thought I would do a couple of fun things for Valentine's Day this year. Last year I did a video on a, preparing a whole meal, a romantic dinner for two, or you could make it for more than two if you want to do it for your family, but I will leave a link to that in the description box and an iCard for you in the corner here. But this year we're going to make chocolate covered strawberry marshmallows love 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 making homemade marshmallows I do have a video on just regular plain marshmallows and I will link those for you as well um, but today we're going to make strawberry ones marshmallows require once you make them they're required to sit and dry out I always let mine dry overnight so tomorrow we'll do the chocolate covered part so today we're just going to get started on the marshmallow portion and then I have another fun video coming up for you another special dessert for Valentine's Day so we have a couple of fun things planned for the holiday of love so let's get started uh, marshmallows are really they're fun to do they're easy to do you do have to have a pretty powerful mixer they have to be mixed on high for approximately 12 to 15 minutes I don't recommend a hand mixer it doesn't work very well uh, but a stand mixer works great you're gonna need your whisk attachment you're going to need some cold water some gelatin I like the Knox gelatin it's easy to find for our recipe you're gonna need the whole box there are three envelopes inside of this box Oh, actually I lied there are four and we're gonna need three of them so we're gonna need three envelopes of gelatin we're going to need a cup of cold water we're going to need one cup of corn syrup I do not recommend that you make any substitutions with different sweeteners I would search for another recipe for marshmallows if you want to do that um, corn syrup works really well here and I it, you can get a different result we're making candy so it's important that you stick to the ingredients accurately and use the correct ingredients I can't speak to the result if you would try a different type of sugar so we need some light corn syrup we need some white regular granulated sugar again I wouldn't make any substitutions here I can't speak to the result if you do um, you're gonna need a candy thermometer and we are gonna be making them strawberry so you are going to need some strawberry puree and the way I made my puree is I took about a cup of whole strawberries that were frozen I just pureed them in my blender and then I've been letting them sit in a strainer to strain out some of the liquid uh, we don't want them too runny in this uh, so it's just a cup of frozen strawberries let them defrost puree them and then just let them drain a little bit so that they're not too wet and um, that's about it you're going to need a candy thermometer as well we're going to cook our syrup to 240 degrees and then we're going to let our mixer work its magic so I'm going to bring you in close we're going to get started by blooming our gelatin and all that means is we're going to let our gelatin sit with some cold water and do its thing while we get the rest of the marshmallow ingredients cooking on the stove okay we're going to bloom our gelatin I have three packages of the gelatin that I've put in the bottom of my mixing bowl I'm going to add a half a cup of cold water to that approximately a half a cup the other half a cup we're going to put in our mixture that we're going to cook so I just put that in my mixing bowl and then I just give it a little stir and then just let it hang out while we're doing the rest of the work on our marshmallows in my pan I have one and a half cups of regular white sugar to that we are going to add one cup of light corn syrup we're going to add half a cup of water and then we're going to add our strawberry puree okay then we're going to turn our heat up to a medium high we are going to stir this just until it's mixed together once it starts cooking you do not want to stir it so just give it a little mix but if you've ever made candy or caramel or anything like that you know that once it starts cooking you want to leave it alone 
So we're gonna cook this on medium high heat till it reaches 240 degrees. Okay, we've got it going here. I'm gonna give it one last stir before it all starts bubbling and then we're gonna leave it alone and let it cook to 240 degrees. Okay guys, I just wanted to bring you back. We've been cooking for about four to five minutes here. One thing I want to mention is I really did not use a pan that was deep enough, so make sure you use a deep pan for this because it really bubbles up a lot. Typically when I make regular marshmallows without the addition of the strawberry or other things, this pan is deep enough, but since I added the strawberry, it's a little bit more volume and I'm really pushing the limits with this. So make sure that you use a deeper pan. Um, and then, like I said, don't stir it, just leave it alone. This is what it looks like as it's cooking. Make sure you keep an eye on your thermometer. And once we get to 240 degrees, we are ready to mix it in with our gelatin and let our mixer do the rest of the work. The other thing that I wanted to mention, the other ingredient that I am going to add to bump up the flavor is I'm going to add some pure strawberry extract. Just make sure you don't buy anything that's imitation or has uh, artificial flavoring in it. This is all natural and I'll leave a link to this for you in the description box below. But we are going to be adding this towards the end of our mixing time. You can leave this out but it's really going to ramp up the strawberry flavor for us um, and I, I think it's going to be great. The other thing that you can add if you want to is some food coloring to make them pinker. I'm not going to add any food coloring. I think the strawberries are going to give it just a little nice little pink hue um, and it, they will be beautiful. But if you wanted them a darker color, you could certainly add some uh, food coloring at the same time that we add the extract. So when we are ready to start mixing, I'll bring you back. Okay guys, we have reached 240 degrees. So start your mixer and you want to do this on low. And then we are going to carefully pour our hot sugar syrup into our bowl and you wanna to try to hit the side of the bowl and then let it trickle down. You don't want to spray yourself with hot sugar syrup. So it's best to try to get it on the side of the bowl if you can. Once you have it all in there, you wanna slowly increase your speed to high. Again, being careful, you don't wanna spray yourself or anyone else with hot sugar syrup. And now we're gonna let our mixer work its magic. Okay guys, we've been mixing for about 12 minutes and our sugar syrup has turned into a delicious marshmallowy goo. So now I'm gonna add my extract. You can also add food coloring here. So I'm gonna reduce my mixing down to about a medium low. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of my strawberry extract, approximately a tablespoon. You can add as much or as little as you wish. Then I'm gonna turn it back up to high and I'm gonna let it continue to mix for another two to three minutes. You should mix it until the, the bowl is warm to the touch and not hot. So it should be 12 to 15 minutes total. Okay guys, we are ready to put our marshmallows into our pan. And all I did to prepare my pan was I sprayed it with some cooking spray and then generously sprinkled it with a combination of powdered sugar and cornstarch. You want about a quarter cup of each and generous, generously sprinkled that. Okay, so now we are ready to spread it in our pan. And again, if you want pinker marshmallows, I mean, this is just slightly pink. If you want them pinker, you can certainly add more food coloring. I'm not a huge fan of food coloring, so I'm gonna leave it out. It's fine for me for them to be lightly pink instead of super pink or strawberry pink. Look at 
that marshmallowy, gooey goodness. I know some people spray their spatula or used greased fingers or whatever. I've never done that with my marshmallows. I just use a spatula, just a regular spatula and smooth it out the best I can. Of course, you gotta get your fingers involved, right? Just spread it into your pan as evenly as you can. Okay, like I said, just do the best you can. This is gonna be the bottom of our marshmallows anyway. We are going to turn these out and cut them out into heart shapes. Um, but you could also just cut them in squares. Either way is fine. So at this point, what we wanna do is we want to take our combination of powdered sugar and cornstarch and we want to generously sprinkle this side as well. Okay, what I do at this point is I usually just cover them with a paper towel so the air can still get to them and they can dry out. You don't want to cover them with plastic wrap or anything like that, but I do like a paper towel across them so they don't get any dust or anything from the kitchen on them, um, but it's still breathable enough that it will allow them to dry out. So I'm just gonna set them on my counter. Okay guys, so that is it for day one. It is such a fun project. I just love to watch the sugar syrup turn into that marshmallowy goo. So fun. Anyway, so now we're just gonna let them sit overnight on the countertop, let them hang out and do their thing. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to bring you back. We're going to turn them out of the pan. We're gonna cut them into beautiful heart shapes. And then we are going to dip them in chocolate. Now, if you don't want to dip yours in chocolate, you don't have to. You could go ahead while they're still sticky. You could sprinkle them with some, fest some festive sprinkles or some colored sugar, anything like that would work great. And then tomorrow after they dry, you can just cut them and they will be beautiful that way. Um, but we're gonna kick ours up a notch and we are gonna dip them in chocolate. So join me tomorrow and we're going to make them into beautiful Valentine chocolate covered strawberry marshmallows. For those we want to dip in chocolate, you want to make sure you have a cooling rack or some kind of grid to put them on. I like to put a piece of wax paper underneath, just makes it easy for cleanup. I am using the Ghirardelli um, melting wafers. These work really well, super easy to use. pretty easy stuff right um, not too hard the hardest part is waiting letting them sit overnight and then letting allowing your chocolate to harden but if you use those Ghirardelli melts it doesn't take very long look how beautiful those are who wouldn't want those for Valentine's Day right oops um, I even got did some white chocolate on some of them I put some in a piping bag and tried to pipe be mine could do like the conversation hearts if you're creative. This one I just drizzled some dark chocolate and some white chocolate. And you saw the ones with the sprinkles fully covered and then with some sprinkles on top. Lots and lots of creative ways to do them. This guy, he was just half coated. So yummy though. So delicious. 
So I hope you'll give these a try. They are the perfect treat for Valentine's Day. And if you've never made homemade marshmallows, you are in for a wonderful treat. They are so tasty and just fun to make and great to involve your little ones with. They, it's a really fun thing to see their faces when they see sugar syrup turn into this marshmallowy goo and it's really fun to let them lick the beaters. So I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for coming along with me. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and a great Valentine's Day and I will see you next time.